Hey there folks, I got a new butterfly balisong knife for you. Well, it's not a knife, it's a bottle opener. This is the BB Barfly Pro version 2. You might have seen this already if you follow them on Instagram. You know, I did a review on their version 1 on the Pro a couple years ago. And they were kind enough to send me the latest version of it for my social distancing series so thank you bb barfly pretty awesome uh now i saw my follow on instagram <clears throat> and when i saw this I'm like oh that is interesting i love the redesign on the bottle opener now when i first saw it online i thought you would open the bottle this way you probably could but uh no apparently you put the cap on there and you pop it off this way so it works the same way as the original uh, version one. Let me show you the original one. So these, this is the one I bought. Uh, Nyx colors, of course. So this is the pro version. And you can see the redesign right there. I love this because it looks more like a blade, right? It also lightens up the blade a little bit, I think, the bottle opener. So this is also still available. And like this one and that one, they can pretty much give you any color that you want. Uh, they have different available colors. They have sports uh, designs, tattoo designs, whatever you want to do. So how they achieve the handles, it's a powder coat. So it's baked at like 400 degrees. So it's very, very tough. Handles are aluminum. And you might be able to see there's some light uh, pockets, lightning pockets in there to make it even more lighter. I think this weighs in, let me weigh this. I think it weighs in at like five ounces, which I'm told by Bali aficionados that that is not too bad. 5.4, 5.04, can you see that? Hopefully you see that. But that's not too bad for a balisong, that's a desired weight. Now I am not a Bali guy like the Bandit. Actually, wow, this is a little bit lighter, 4.99. So. Huh, interesting. Oh, oh, I know what it is. I know what it is. You see a big difference? You know why it's lighter? Duh, Michael. So this is the Pro. This is the Pro V2. This is a little bit weightier because of the brass weights that they added. So they listened to the Balasong community. Bally guys said, you know what? It needs to be a little bit heavier, BB Barfly. So you think you could add some weights to it? And they did. And they did. Let me show you what comes in this beautiful, looks like an eyeglass case. Um, so you can transport your your Pro V2 on this one. And you get awesome stuff. I love swag, stickers, uh, business card, more stickers. Then I saw that they had this. I was like, what is this? And what they do is they give you tools. Right, so if you want to take it down, if you want to adjust it, I'll show you later the adjustment, the play or lack of on the actual uh, V2, the Pro V2. So pretty nice that they give you all that. Then they give you washers. It is on washers, right? And they and they label it for you. So you got the washers. What else you got? You got the pivots. You got the Zen pins, right? So it is on Zen. Uh, not tank pin, so you, they give you all the replacement stuff if you want to adjust it, if it gets wear and tear. Then it gives you the handle screws and additional spacers. So if you want to make it heavier, you can just pop these in or pop them out. You see there's different size. Oh, these are the, I guess those are, yeah, if you, oh, let me show you. So inside you can see there's two sets of spacers, one there. And a bigger one right there. And they give you extra ones. Now, I haven't opened these up, of course. I don't know if they're a little bit heavier or they're the same. It's nice that they they give you all that, right? Very smooth, right? Okay, again, it is a Zen pin construction, so my preferred thing. It's just my thing. I just think that Zen pins are more durable and less likely to pop out, which I've had happen with me with the tank pins, but that was probably a poorly constructed ballad song that I had in the past. I'm sure they're well made now. And again, you got the adjustable brass weights, right? And it is a sandwich construction. 
nice flow through design. Uh, these are all hand assembled, right? So it's tweaked. Here's the play. All right now, I haven't adjusted that. That's right out of the case. So pretty good. Uh, and it's nice that they give you the spare parts for it. So like I said, the handles are aluminum. This is steel. And the steel is thick because, I mean, it's not just a ballast song. It definitely acts as a uh, trainer. But they had to make it durable also. Look at the thickness of that steel because it's going to pop, you know, beer bottles. Right? That's the idea. So pretty nice. I think they CNC the blade. Nice job. Their logo right there and the version. And I'm not sure if that's a serial number, but does SN 113. I'm going to assume that's serial number. Uh, I love the design of the bottle opener. I like how they lighten it up. I like how they design it to look like kind of like a trainer blade. Let me show you one. So here's my Benchmade Morpho with um, my Flytanium. And you can see it's pretty comparable in design and shape, which I think was probably requested by some Bally guy, right? Because this was cool and this was fine. This has served me well in many barbecues. But you can see that the, uh, you know, it's more of a bottle opener design instead of a blade shape. So addressing the needs of the community. Excellent. Excellent. Now, if I had to criticize anything, because now they redesigned the blade, right? But I think this is their signature shape. You see how it gets, it, fat, it tapers this way and gets fatter on towards the bottom of the handle. Right, and that, they maintain that shape on the on the version one and the version two. Um, I don't. I think that's just by that's just their design. That's the way they want to do it, and it, it definitely works. Believe me, I'm not a ballet song guy, but for what little things I do, it works well. Um, so yeah, so I don't know if that's purposeful. You guys tell me if that, that's a design, but I think it would be pretty cool if since they're redesigning it anyway. Because the blade shape is the same as this, uh, pretty much the same as this titanium. I would think maybe they can, maybe, maybe I'm asking too much. Am I nitpicking? Maybe they can trim down the handles too to make it look more like a, a traditional bally. Now, I don't know if that, maybe that's because of testing. Maybe because when they use this, it's got to be kind of thick to pop open bottles, I guess. Maybe this won't work. Maybe this will be too flimsy a design. But very well made regardless. And I really appreciate them sending this to me because they know I'm going to be honest about it. And I'm going to, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say whatever pops in my head. You know, I just record this once. <laughs> uh, no editing software for the most part. But um, pretty cool. Pretty cool. So this... I actually had the original one before this one. Uh, that one was even thicker. Like they trimmed this down. The original one was like a big chunkier blade. So they definitely keep redesigning it. And which just tells me that they're listening to the community that's using their product. So that's cool. So maybe they'll listen to me and maybe they'll trim this down a little bit. You know, they still don't have, uh, they have a lot of, uh, I don't know if it has anything to do with NBA, but they have some sports, uh, logos that you could put on there but not the Knicks that's why I asked for the Knicks colors when I had this done the last time and this time I just told them listen send me something you know they're nice of them to support the channel send me something that would look cool and video and they sent me this one and I really appreciate it so that's the BB Barfly Pro V2 go check them out I'll put the link below please